nothing we can't do if we team up. I said no. I mean, I, I got a brand, you know? It's like adding gymnastics to it. It's all of a sudden, it's, it's a very muddled message. Tell her the real reason, you lying motherfucker. <sighs> oh, God, here we go. All right, so look, there's a glass ceiling for female supervillains, okay? Like, sure, we're tolerated, but as long as we don't get too powerful. So a long time ago, way back in the 80s, you know, there was this powerful sorceress, right? She's known as the Queen of Fables. Fed up by being a footnote to the male supervillains, she decided to turn Gotham into an evil forest by using sorcery to pull characters from the pages of storybooks. Until she had a whole army at her command. There I was with my crew. A bunch of dumb storybook things. When the heroes showed up. Ugh. It was a horror. No, no, no. There is no way Superman did that. I exaggerate to add flavor. But the truth is, they punished me in a way no one has ever been punished. No! about it. A male supervillain can literally look like a deformed penguin, but God forbid we outshine them even a little bit and into the fucking textbook we go. Instead of throwing me into Arkham like any male villain, they came up with this bullshit. I mean, a guy robs a bank, he's a criminal mastermind. Woman robs a bank, she's a crazy bitch. Exactly. Yeah, you can get as big as you want, as long as you don't get bigger than them. Yeah, you get it. And your ambition won't just hurt you, it'll hurt the people you care most about. Birthday cake for the boss at four. Thanks, Mark. God, I hate this place. But at least I'm not on the streets turning tricks for cash anymore. 